is supplying the soup in the city of Flint, Michigan. We got a fly in the soup. It's been a fly in the soup for the last two and a half years. For the last six to eight months since this council hit, it's been about five or six flies in the soup. Now, I'm from Flint. I ain't going to let you come in here and mess up Flint. You got my attention. You can laugh and grin and skin. And Mr. Garrett, I ain't laughing with it. I'm getting dead serious. It's more than one way to skin a cat. Found argument. Miss Fields, you and Miss Worthing has been the nasty attackers toward me and others in this on this council. Just nasty. Whether it's Mr. Gilchrist, whether point it's of me. order, the use What's of the word point? nasty. I said and listen to you. It's an attack. Ms. Nasty you out, is an attack. You, what's your point? Please reference this Ms. for the ethics Ms. Board. Fields, you out of order. You out of order. You don't run no meeting. You call a point of order, state your point, and I'm a rule on it. You don't direct nothing in here. Has to stop. This is ridiculous. Y'all ridiculous. Okay, sure. what's your point? Do you know that you speak constantly when others are speaking? That ain't a point of information. You're out of order. You're using it to take the flow. You're out of order. Can you sit there and be quiet like I did when you spoke? I Can you do it? You, you out of order. Face. This is your second warning. Third warning. What you say? Are you going to scream and, and yell my Yeah, face shut face up, face? please. You out of order. Please, please. Some initial applications. What's going on? What am I missing? What's your point? Could, could Mr. Mays finish um, talking to Miss Winfrey Carter and put his cigarette away? No, I don't have to. It ain't illegal. I ain't smoking it. I can put it in my mouth. I can put it on my ear. I'm used to her trying to get me through out of meetings repeatedly. I done looked at many videos. Now here I'm thinking she got way more sense than that to try to call a point of order because I got a cigarette in my hand. Now how petty is that? Wave again with that foolishness. Put the camera on him, Paul. I'm talking about Murphy. This guy been sitting here for a year acting a fool. Talking like a fool. Point of order. What's your point? Use the platform, sit here, get up, go walk around, come back, sit here, get up, go. Just a mess. Mr. Murphy, remember decorum. I'm, I'm done. Thank you. You a mess. You a mess. Mr. Mays. You've already been issued your first warning. Okay. Okay. Okay, Mr. Mays. But when Miss Fields and Mr. Kincaid. Point of order, Madam Chair. I knew that was Mr. Mays is just rambling. Rambling? Miss Fields, I object to you call my American English rambling. Do you believe when black folks talk English that we rambling? Point of order, Madam Chair. I got the flow. She interrupted me to say I was a rambling um, African American council. I'm not rambling, Madam Chair. You called me rambling. She, I didn't call her rambling. I adamantly object to this race discrimination at this place. I object, Madam Chair. Can you get order? What is she talking for? Madam Chair, point of order. Was that, uh, I appeal the ruling of the chair. Yes, Mr. Okay. I appeal the ruling okay. of the chair. What's going on so with this? What then happened here? Then we have a Point of order here. here. What then happened here? Point of order here. What then happened here? I didn't interrupt her. Point of order, Madam Chair. What then happened here? I appeal the ruling of the chair. What's going on? I, I, I appeal the point of order. What's going on here? We have one more item to Point of order. Add on by the Point of order. Madam Chair, point of information. What's going on? What what just happened? She voted on the resolution. But she can't vote on the resolution when there is a come on, you guys. You still got to Don't don't do this because y'all showing my
The Fab Five is running this council, and if you don't watch it, they're going to be presidents and vice and everything. My position is this with the Fab Five. I'm so sick of this corrupt man sitting next to me, I don't know what to do. I'm sick of this corrupt order. man. Don't cut me point off. Order, I'm point of order, Mr. Davis. Give me a warning. Mr. Davis, I got you. Mr. Davis, there's a warning. Mr. Davis, there's a warning. Come on. I can attack a person's voting record. Don't y'all get carried away. A person attacking, talking a factual voting record and a actual hearing what he said, he said it. This going to stop. I don't care nothing about no rules. Um, this going to stop. I'm like, point of, I don't care nothing about no rules. Now, what type of law and civil... Man, he out of order. Can you get him out of here now? You done warned him twice. He out of order. You should be Mr. Uh, Metcalf. Can you get this guy out of here? Mr. May, you, you're not... Point of order. You do a point, point of order. order to, you don't need to. Point Mr. of order. What's your point of order? I might not need to, but when I say point of order, everything stop. My point is you said in front of everybody, if he keep on, he would be gone. He done kept on... It's a problem, and you disappointed point of order. because you ain't told him to go. Miss, Miss Williams, you're out of order. That's what we're getting at. That's why Quincy got put out, Mr. President. I'm calling her to order. Can you get her out of here? Get her out of here. I ain't got to put up with this in a measly two minutes. Now, if, I, if, if they can remove me from my seat, get her the hell out of here. But you don't move on women. That's my point. So, Ms. Williams, you can come down here and stand with white folks who say I'm the most racist person they ever met in their life. You can come down here and stand and be upset because I speak strong voice in this mic. But you don't represent the first war. And so to stand and portray that, I'm from the first ward and I'm standing with these women. I want everybody in the first ward in the city of Flint to know you standing with them calling me a racist. Point of order. Point of order. Mr. Mays, please. To go. Please, Mr. Mays. Thank you. You need to go. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. And so can you just include in your amendment? I'm on, yeah. Well, you I'd like to include in the... I'm used to Monica Galloway teaming up with Kate Fields and Eva Nim and then trying to talk about me. It make me cuss. Damn, damn, damn. It's a bunch of bull Shh. Yeah, it is. But I'm going to teach y'all how not to be hypocritical. Well, first of all, you're not going to teach me anything. Okay, well, you're going to teach you not to interrupt me. All, point of order. Not point of order. What's your point, point of order. What's your point? You don't take you the flow listen. when I you got keep, the flow. Keep yelling. Point of order. You keep yelling. Here's my order. Point of order. Keep yelling. Do your voice. Point of order. Now proceed. Your what job is your to say what's your point. What's your point? Don't interrupt me when I got the flow. I don't care how much you frown. I don't care how much you don't like what I say. You've been in a row. No, you out of order. I'm talking. Well, then you proceed. But listen, you're going to cut it hey, short. Hey, Mr. Metcalf, can you come up here and keep order? The president can't interrupt when proceed, you get a flow. Proceed, Councilman. Baker. And the bell ain't went off. You out of order and you messing with my time, sir. I don't appreciate you or nobody else arguing with me when I got the flow. Nah, what you gonna do? Keep interrupting and arguing and fussing with me because you a big shot and you out of order when I got the flow? Who are you trying to show out for? Councilman Mays, you may proceed. Your time. You shouldn't have never order. interrupt me when I got the flow. You out of order. You want to deal with these white folks and treat folks a certain way, but when we speak and then criticize you and them, you want to holler at me. You ain't raised your voice at them yet. Ain't no way you, I wasn't born a fool and you ain't gonna portray me as a fool. I'm a Christian. My daddy was Pastor Mays. Councilman we Mays, just you got a minute You interrupted me. You got However, a minute I use my time seconds. is my business. Point of order. Point of order. Hey, she apologized. Don't apologize for me, Ms. Worthen. You and Kate Fields apologize for yourself.
people can do and be what they want. And we, I pray on my knees. You know, I ain't going to do like Miss Galloway and start saying a prayer for harmony. Because guess what, Miss Miss um, Worthen, you believe it if you want. As long as you got Democrats and Republicans, you got politics. And you got different philosophies. So you can pray and hope for kumbaya. Is it kumbaya? Mm -hmm. But it's going to come a time we're going to have to take care of some business. And the, and, 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 and the nonsense needs to be plucked out. Call me the plucker. Mays, wrap up now. That's what you should have said, not take the flow. Mr. Mays, I'm not going to argue with you. You argued with Davis. I'm not going to argue now. You didn't tell him I'm that. I'm not going to argue Go now. Go on with y'all game. You I ain't going to say warning, another Mr. word. Mays, My point has I been made. I'm you. not going to argue with you or Davis or Mr. Kate Mays, you Ms. have received Galloway. your only warning. Say what? You have just now received your only warning. <laughs> well, God bless my warning and God bless you. Go ahead, Mr. Point of order. It's on Mr. Davis. Point of order. He said yes. Okay. Oh, y'all don't dog out like that? We not. Okay. If you gonna Matt, dog out like that, vote. and y'all gonna disrespect my doggone counsel, see, y'all got another thing coming. Whenever I say point of order, I wouldn't care what's happening. Everything stops. Madam Clerk. And whenever the clerk and you agree Mays, to go back to Mr. You're Greg, out of order now. I'm going to stay out of order okay. on this one because y'all well, disrespected my seat. Well, then I'm going to have to ask You disrespected Officer my Metcalf. seat. You're not going to skip over You're this. out of order. I'm going to stay out of order. I'm okay. appealing your ruling of the trail. Officer Metcalf. We have to get our story out through the Chitlin circuit. Social media. So guess what I'm going to do? All these voters, I'm going to fight for them. I'm going to fight for you. I'm going to fight for you. I'm going to fight for you. I ain't going to let nobody hood point on order. What is your point? Are you telling me or chastising me for using a privileged motion? Is you um, fussing me out for using a privileged motion? Is that what you call yourself doing? What did you That's just say? What did you say? You're not going to allow me to do what? I mean, you laughing. I'm trying to hear what you're saying. Okay, I think that you can hear me just fine, but for the record, I said I will not allow you to gaslight this community. Gaslight? Or, yes, sir. I suggest you look it up. We will continue with this appeal. We'll deal with this after the appeal. Watch yourself. As a reminder on the appeal. Because I can use that. Excuse me, Mr. Mays, you are out of order. When you dog me out and interrupt me and tell me I'm a gaslighter, I'm thinking that's some type of arsonist. Whenever you talk to me out the way, because there's a crowd of people watching, and when I talk back to you, because I didn't call you no name or use no adjective, but I'm going to look up some, and I'm going to remind you of what you call me sitting in that chair. You can't hurt me by trying to strong arm and talk to me in front of these black and white folks a certain way Ms. Herkin wrote us sitting in my seat. Yeah, when you talk about me, you talk about folk. Gaslighting. Don't use no more adjectives for me. You can shake your head all you want. You can turn red all you want. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. And then you won't have to go through it. And how dare you talk to me like that? You don't know me. I'm talking about you gaslight. Who are you to judge me? Now, I was here talking business and you trying to down me with some adjectives, but you had decorum. When you sit in that seat, you're high to a high level of standards and decorum. Man, I can throw adjectives around left and right. I can talk about you till the cows come home. How dare you? You don't know me. You didn't know my daddy, you didn't know my mama, and you don't know me. I don't even hardly talk to you. Point of order. What's your point? Mr. May stated that it's about to get funky in here, and I don't know what, that, what he's referring to. Point of information. What's your point? Do you want me to tell you? Gaslighting and adjectives, it's going to get funky in here because I'm going to use a bunch of adjectives. Okay. Yeah. You didn't gaslighted me. I'm sitting here burnt to a crisp. 
and you think it's funny. You think it's cavalier. You wasted all that time to get two votes and you talking about me gaslighting something. I don't like the adjectives because I got a bunch of ad adjectives. I'm a serious practitioner. Gaslighting. Those are catch words to call me a fool or uh, to say something about somebody black if you sit up in that seat. I ain't buying it. I don't appreciate it. Now, you talked about decorum, but you want to fire me up talking about gaslighting and we're on a master fee schedule. I don't gaslight. I come here to take care of business. I got a son older than you. Who do you think you disrespect and talking about gaslight? Now, if I start using adjectives toward you and the rest of these council people, you're going to be the first to try to rule me out of order. I demand respect. I warn you, this is your first warning. When you do that, I ain't going to recognize it until I get ready. Because you're not going to just howl out and tell me when I'm talking. You shake your head all you want. Do it again, I'm going to ask that you be removed. Form or no form. You ain't running this council like that. Stay tuned. May, June, July. Mr. Mays, we do you have a resolution? Because we're here Say for what? resolution. No, we on a special order. We'll get there. And if we don't, we Come ain't get there before. Mr. Point Mays. of order. You're you out of order. Time, you're not Point of order. order. Point of order. order. What is you your out of order. And I'm warning you. I am the chair. And that I'm don't going you to wrap it up and be out of order. You sure out of order. You I'm warning you. Mr. Mays, you can't warn me. You're not the chair. I'm warning somebody going to warn you. You're not the chair. I can't. I'll peel the ruling of the chair that you can't be warned. There's an appeal to this decision. There's an appeal to this decision. There's an appeal to this decision. There's an appeal to this made the rules and for five minutes but only twice you've done that. we've not been enforcing you've those done rules. that i'm gonna enforce them now because how y'all act the food so i'm enforcing them so you done on this round unless you appeal me and then you're gonna have to pull out the rule that say twice and you should lose unless your buddies help you. Is there any more discussion on this motion from somebody who ain't been twice? The problem you got is you keep fooling around with folks who wasting our time because you nice. I'm nice, but I ain't overly nice. And I ain't overly foolish with time and city business. That mess of catering to Kate feels, Mr. Guerra, in my opinion, it needs to stop. They leave, they be gone, they don't sit here. And so now you done voted not to adjourn finance committee meeting. What you want me to do, talk until she get back? That's crazy. Quit catering to that mess. I tried to be nice to him and he ain't gonna yeah. talk about you, can't talk about the state police when we talk about the state police. It ain't Tito, it ain't Mark. I thought that was pretty funny. It's an old joke used way too many times. Beg your pardon. I'm gonna use a new one if you keep messing with me. I might have used Marlon and Tito too many times, but want me to come up with a new one on you? It's easy, I'm a jokester. Mr. Mays, I am fully aware of that. I want it on the record, so I don't need your comments. No one needs to hear from you. Is there ever a time you don't need your comments? Is there ever a time you don't need your comments? Is there ever a time you don't need your comments? I'm not talking to her. I did a point of order. You got to put her in check. Because when she go off, I go off double. A pause. This has to stop. All of it. It has to stop. Councilman Mays, it has to stop. What's your point of order? That's his discussion. Did, you did out of they, order. Stay on really, subject. Really, Mr. President? Stay on subject. Point of order. Councilman What's your Mays, procedural let's brief? hurry up and get through with this. Uh, hurrying up ain't going to take the Stay on subject, point please. Of order. You out of order, Miss Winfrey Carter, and you need to rule on that, Mr. Chairman. Yeah. I would conclude my um, two minutes by saying, in all sincerely, in all sincerity, I pray for myself, I pray for this council, I pray for the citizens of the city of Flint. Lord, help us.
to do better. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen.